Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about the right function. And as you can guess by looking at this name, it is what it is writing to the file as many bytes as we type. So it's a bit different from the normal operator that we use to insert to write into files, which was that one. So if we have, for example, a an array that we will call sample and we have got here a sample text and we have got here a file which is open for outputting and we send a sample and we run the program and we open the file we will see that we have got here a sample text and that's semicolon <laughs> so it is there inside so why do we need another function when we have got it? As I said earlier, this function can write as many bytes as we type. So we can have a buffer, which we can exactly say how many bytes we want to write at once, or maybe we can maybe want to take only five characters here, right? One, two, three, four, five, or six characters. We we can exactly say how many characters we want to write at once. And uh, the cool thing is that it is writing every possible thing. What does it mean? Well, let's use the write function. File, write. We need to send here a pointer. So the place where we want to start to write from and how many bytes we want to write inside from that place because this is a pointer, pointer is pointing to the address, right? So we are now sending here, for example, size of sample. So we are sending here, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a null character. So the ending character. When we run this program, you will notice then we also send here a null character, not only text characters, we could send here any possible thing inside, right? So what uh, what is different in the write function? You can, for example, send a character that is not, uh, that, 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 that we don't have on our keyboard, right? Uh, we can send there some kind of bytes that uh, do not exist exactly um, in character forms for for example some editors or in some kind of encoding and they don't have the meaning there but they have uh, exactly meaning for us when we do some translation what do i mean well we can create a low level program for example that would compress something and we like to compress something from uh, like that to something uh, looking different and it wouldn't mean anything in character form but it would mean something in the byte form and we could interpret it uh, the other way right so if you want to write a low level programming program we would use the write function or if we want to say how many characters we want to write or how many at once we want to create a buffer then we'll use the write function so if we type something like that minus one you'll notice that of course when we refresh it as you can see the null character has been removed so uh, well we can exactly s check how many of that is inside here as you can see it is 12 as i said earlier it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and the 12 character null so it's inserting every possible thing from the beginning where the sample pointer is pointing to so it also means that if we type for example 60 here and we run this program as you can see when we refresh the file we have got here some kind of uh, garbage uh, we don't know exactly what is that letter at all well I, at least i don't know i've never seen it before 
because uh, this editor is just opening it and trying to interpret it because it is a text editor and it's trying to interpret this as a text but there is some kind of garbage in my memory of course when you run when you run this program this garbage will look different way and uh, because you have some kind of other things there because uh, this for example addresses here can be used by other programs or maybe uh, it's just uh, not being used right now uh, at all because it was used by other program before there was just some kind of memory being used and because of it uh, there is some kind of garbage there right and this is uh, the thing there and as you can see the right function will write anything into the file it doesn't matter if it's a typical character it will write a, a bytes into the into the file okay that's all in that lesson thank you very much